Alrighty guys, this is our game again today. We are gonna be casting another Kerrigan Survival replay, but before we start, 70% of the people watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel, so if you don't mind, just help us grow and hit that little red button down below. Now, let's see what this game will have to bring us. We have a couple of pros as far as I can see. We have Locutus with the Technician, we've got Fatline with the Scientist, we've got Poseidon with the Ascendant, We've got Shadow Wolf with Helios, we've got we've got Zaraza with the scientist, we've got Spicy with Team Nova, I'm pretty sure I got pretty much everyone, and then I guess we have Pika with Selendis, and on the other side we've got the we've got Kerrigan as Infinity and then Locker as Zagara. Now let's see what this game is gonna bring us and also a Russian Prophet. Of course I cannot say that name, I'm not Russian, but I'm just gonna call him Prophet right now. Now they have a Zagara and then they have actually a Kerrigan which is really nice. Now here is the Technician, this is a bit of an older patch so it won't be like the new Technician but I mean it's still strong, look at that. No, Locutus, I mean I say that and he actually, no, no, use your, yes, yes, there you go. He's not gonna use his repair on a lot of his turrets and he's gonna lose most of the stuff to Kerrigan eventually, yeah. That was not a good start by him, he could have really been doing it a lot better. Because, I mean, it's a lot better if you put your structures like here, a bit further into the back, so that you have time to salvage them in case Kerrigan gets by. And also, you don't run the risk of getting destroyed by a random bunch of Zerglings that spawn in the very beginning of the game. So, not the best play by him, but I mean, I'm still hoping he's gonna get big. Also, Zaraza is gonna go for like two income generators. Pretty neat for the first like 2 and 40 seconds minutes of the game. And they're just gonna be pinging a lot more stuff right now. Look at that. The Russian Prophet is actually damaged. I mean, he went on the creep, I bet. Yeah, and Zagara had to try to snipe him down now. Kirgo's gonna go after the Fatline Scientist. Fatline, a very good player, but he doesn't have income just yet. Even though, yeah, I'd like him to have it because even if it's not that important early game, because if you don't have the Chrono Boost, it's not really worth it. I mean, the difference can be quite huge. Or, wait, I can see he spent his gas. Oh, no, never mind, he does have income. And it's even walled off by Shadow Wolf with the Preservers, so the guy is actually really well secured. Can you see this? Yeah, I guess good job, uh, both Shadow Wolf and Fatline. They're making a, a great team right over there. I also have no Poseidon. The Ascendant is like getting cannons right next to his income, which is not good. Because now Kirgan knows there's something going on here, and this is. This is gonna be like a sucky game. Because Kirgan is just gonna walk in and just gonna just go towards him. He's gonna go down, and then I guess he's gonna have to go to the left with a couple of Zerglings. He's gonna attack the pylons, attack the cloud, and attack these cannons, and he doesn't. Is he gonna salvage? Come on, please. You have to salvage. No, they send the Poseidon. He's not gonna salvage. He's gonna get away, but without the salvaging going on, he's gonna lose most of his income. Yeah, poor Ascendant. This is like a noob amongst the pros, so I'm not blaming him for not being that useful, but again, you at least wanna have to salvage your income, because... Yeah, you don't wanna be losing that much income. That was pretty much all he had, now he will have to build everything up from scratch. Which will take a lot longer. Now here's the technician going for about, uh, how many is this? Seven of the transportation factories, which is really great. Also Spice is having a lot of these mission commands. Which uh, are doing well so far, he's got a couple of plus ones with plus twos. For the first five minutes the survivors are doing great overall. Okay, Kerrigan is gonna find Fatline in Fatline Zinka is gonna go try to destroy it, he's gonna salvage it, that's not quite gonna work. Now the Helios will go around, he's trying to farm and he will succeed actually, did you see that? He just dodged like 20 Zerglings right over there. Because you can do this, you can use Helios as a meat shield for your turrets if that's what you wish. Because the turrets themselves, the cannons, are very squishy, only at 100 HP now here comes Locker with a bunch more Zerglings. I don't think the Hales will be able to face tank these. No, she won't. I mean, she will try. No, that won't work. The Zerglings will eventually destroy the cannons and the pylon. And it will just all go down. Okay, don't force me, says Shadow Wolf. Okay, he doesn't want to get focused, but I mean, when it's so obvious where your stuff is, 
It's hard not to get attacked. So I guess he's gonna have to retreat. Now Kerrigan's gonna go over these couple of Reapers. Okay, they're gonna go down too. And she's gonna go to the right now. I think she wants to find Zaraza's income. Yeah, she sees it. There's no way she doesn't. Okay. Yeah, poor guy's gonna have to salvage and then blink away. And then get a Medivac. He's not even gonna hesitate. He's not gonna try to get it on the high ground. Zero risks and he's gonna get out of there now. Another Link Ball has actually gone after Fatline, but this is not working because of course Fatline is really good at microing a couple of Reapers. He's not gonna lose most of them. And the ball will have no purpose just yet. But now the Reapers, they will destroy a lot of these Rugglings. Look at this. They're just gonna be going back and forth. They're gonna get a couple more. I mean, Fatline is really good at farming right now. He's even got a plus 8. He's got like all sorts of generators so far. All the way from plus 1 to plus 8. And this is really nice for him. I mean the guys are pinging all over the place including Zaraza. Zaraza is going to get pinged a lot. Because this is kind of an excessive numbers, number of Reapers. Now the Zerglings will find the wall that is defending Spicy. And they will go for that one wall. Yeah, OMG. Spicy just got found, but the thing is, these links cannot get into his income, but he's gonna have to salvage either way. I mean, that scientist didn't really spot you. I guess he did attack next to your income, but that's not enough to say he is actually spotting you. That's not just, that's not fair to say, it's that simple. That's not fair, so don't say it. He's gonna get healed up by his medivac, so there he goes. 300 HP. He is healed up and ready to go, fat line that is. And he's getting a lot of his plus one generators, okay. I guess he's doing a lot of things right, right now, right here. So he's gonna be an insanely strong scientist, but again... The thing is, he will need to get a base very soon. I mean, I don't really have anything to say about this just yet. Because he's not getting attacked in the first place. I guess Poseidon is going to get scanned again. I mean, these, these cannons don't do much. They cannot defend you against Kerrigan. I guess he's going to now find Locutus' income too. Yeah, look at this. He's going to see it. And then I guess she will go after it. Yeah, there you go. The Ascent will pretty much spot his income. And I guess he's mad now. Yeah, he's got to be really mad. Now the scientist is going to chrono a couple more of these generators. And even a couple more, and he's got now about how many is this? That's gotta be, come on, let me select them all. Uh, that's about like 11-ish chronobosty generators in total. Locutus will have to abandon this outpost sadly, so... Yeah, too bad for him. This is sad and doesn't really know how to play, so... That will cause the, sur the survivors, but no. Zaraza is also here, Zaraza! This is not a good hiding spot for you, man. He's using the gas, which I guess is nice, but again... He's not doing stuff right. You're supposed to stay hidden, not go near the guy who's trying to kill Lings with cannons that are invisible. Ergon's just gonna go run. She's not gonna go after him. Wait, what? Are you serious? I need to look at his fog of war. If we look at Laka right here, three. No, I, I guess he does, yeah, he did see the cannons, no way, but he's not going for them, I guess he's thinking that the, yeah, the Ascendant has to be a noob, so he's not even bothering to attack it. This is so weird. The Ascendant is not gonna get attacked by Kerrigan. She's just disregarding him at this point. Look at Torch though, he's just holding fire, or no, he doesn't actually have the ammunition, or does he? No, he doesn't, he's just not attacking. He doesn't have the ammo, and he's gonna try to rebuild stuff. Spicy does have a lot of resources, but doesn't really know where and how to spend them. Okay, there we go, he's gonna go for the rifle recharge, which will be really fine, and then Tosh will be able to attack once again, and he will go for all of those Zerglings. Now in the meantime, Kerrigan's gonna go for a lot of, uh, like, Dragoons and Archons, apparently. Or I guess just Zealots, because that was from Selendis. No Archons there just yet. Now this Pika guy has a lot of outposts, but they're not that good, I'm gonna be honest. The outposts only have regular probes, and regular probes don't give you nearly as many minerals as the advanced ones. You have to go for the ones that cost gas, okay? 
that's what you gotta do. Now Fatline is gonna get a lot of these Chrono Boosted ones here too. He's got actually like two spots in which he has Chrono Boosted income and this is just one of them. This is, this is, excuse me, this is the smaller one. With about only like 12 of these, did I guess it? Are these 12? I think I did, yeah, look at that. No, come on, let me select all of them, I wanna see whether or not it's 12. Come on, sir, okay, there we go. Mm, yeah, it's gotta be 12. So that's a lot. No, no, that's uh, that's not 12. That's 14. Now I counted them. Now Kerrigan is very active on the map. She just went towards the middle for some reason and Infinity just AFKing, but Fatline has a ton of income and he just had to salvage most of his income once again. He's now at 11,000 minerals. The dude could literally try and go in base right freaking now if he wanted to, but I guess he doesn't. Also, Shadow is gonna go for a lot of Chrono Boosted uh, Priests and Preservers just for the cash because he doesn't have that many minerals. He's sorta of poor right now, he doesn't even have upgrades on the Dragoons. Which I mean, you should totally get. Upgrades on Dragoons are pretty much the only thing that is allowing you to farm as Helios. Now, Kerrigan's just gonna be in the middle for a while now, for no reason. Okay, there you go, he's gonna be moving. I guess he just controlled some Zerglings. Like over the map. Yeah, that must have been it. Now Locker will head towards Fatline's income, but little does he know he's actually rebuilding his income. Yeah, he's going for income again. Just just gonna go after all of these depots. Yeah, all of these walls. Now he needs to salvage, he will press the button on time. And the Kerrigan won't have time to go after it. And then I guess how many minerals does he have? He's got over 7,000, all of them ready to like boost his income with. Now Kerrigan is very close to the base of the survivor, so I'm not sure about this, bro. She's like dangerously close to the survivors now. Yeah, she's just gonna go down, I guess. She's gonna go bottom and check for any suspicious activity. Now, Fatline. Are these Fatlines? Yes, they are. He's gonna spot Kerrigan, he needs to salvage. No, Fatline, he's not gonna see Kerrigan. He's gonna lose all of this. Wait, what? No, Fatline. He messed up at the end. He's okay, now he's salvaging them, but he saw that too late. And he's gonna lose almost all of them. Only one of them gets salvaged, which is really bad. And, but I mean, he still has a lot of them. He's got like 30, but that was still a big, big loss for him. Now he needs to hold against Kerrigan single-handedly, which is not going to be easy by any means. He's just going to be sitting here for a while, waiting for her. Okay, they're just going to go after the ghosts. They will eventually fall too. Yeah, the ghosts are going to be going down. And now she's going to be heading towards the bottom, towards the scientists. But the thing is, scientists does have a lot of chrono boosted stuff. And a lot of resources in general. He's going to go forward and he's going to spam the marines. He's got 1-1 one, one now, so this is decent. And this will not allow Kerrigan to use her Zerglings. She can use her Razor Storm though. Yeah, this thing can actually deal insane damage to very squishy units like Marines for example. The Razor Swarm uh, can deal up to how much? I mean, that's about like 28 damage per second or I guess it's now 24. With the Intelligence she would be dealing about 50 which against Marines are really very OP. Look at Fatline, he's just spamming more and more marines and Kerrigan's gonna get attacked but she's got a ton of armor. Yeah, this is the bad thing because the marines now can barely do any damage to her just because of the armor. He's even gonna spam some fire bats. So he's got all of the gas he would ever need, so that's like a plus. Now the Razor Swarm living almost killed the Medivac, which is not good. Okay, here comes Shadow Wolf with the help with a lot of these gates and he's gonna plant them down. I guess he wants to send a couple of Dragoons against these guys. Against Kerrigan, yeah, but I mean the scientist is running fairly low on HP. He's only now at about 173. Kerrigan doesn't even use her dash and he will just boost away. And he's gonna go to the front of the base and spam some more Marines. He's trying to like use everything he's got to fight Kerrigan, but Kerrigan doesn't really want to go after the income. She just wants to attack the like Marines, which I guess is working because she is now insanely fat, especially when we're talking about the gas. He's getting like, look at this, Infinity is just getting more and more income. He's just using these guys to get more and more fed. 
He doesn't even want to destroy the scientists. It looks, it looks like Erwin just playing the survivors, even though I'm pretty sure Fatline would really like to chrono boost his structures at this point, because there is no reason not to. Kerrigan's gonna go after all, the, all of the dragoons and the marines, and will she go after the income? No, she won't. Infinity. Infinity will not go for the income. He's just getting the feed, and that's it. I mean, I guess he's doing stuff right. Okay, here comes Locker. Yeah, this is the guard coming in for the save, but I mean, Kerrigan doesn't really need it. Because he's got 24 freaking armor. Can you see this? She basically takes zero damage from marines, dragoons and fire bats. Pretty much the only thing that can deal damage to her are the ghosts and even they don't do that much. Kerrigan is that tanky late game. She's gonna go to the level 8 very soon. Now that the dragoons are gonna be falling. She's just getting so much gas. This has been like a feed fest for Kerrigan. She's now at over like 500 kills at minute 20 after destroying all of these units. And it's like constantly rising. She only lost like 500 HP from the last time I checked. Yeah, look at this. She has like so much HP, so much armor. She's got 24. I guess she's finally gonna go for some of this. No, she's not. She's not gonna go for the structure. She's just gonna try to use the Razor Swarm on all of those ghosts that are gonna be going down. Now, even the Moon is gonna get level 4 from all of this fight. Kerrigan's just getting more and more fat. Come on, this is so unfair. Fatline cannot even like rebuild his income. He's just going for more and more ruins around Kerrigan. This has been just a fight going on for how long? This has been one damage. Yeah, look at that. They do deal like one damage per hit. Okay, now with the ghosts they can do a bit more. Yeah, as I said, ghosts are the only things that can do damage because she's got that much armor. He's gonna get to like over 30 very soon, okay? She just needs to go for the level 9, okay? There she goes. And now she is ready to attack. She's got level 9, she's ready to fight, and she will go for most of these guys, most, uh, most of the dragoons, and then most of the fire bats too. Okay, he's gonna get the links, and then these will just go forward and attack all of the dragoons once again. Now, Shadow Wolf, I'm pretty much, this is, I'm pretty sure this is really bad. Because Kerrigan is at freaking level 9, at minute 24, which is a lot by the way. I mean, are the guys not retreating because Kerrigan isn't really losing anything? No, the Prophet gets destroyed by the... Yeah, by Lacker's Hydras because he has been going for a lot of this. Also, the gas that goes to Kerrigan goes to Zagara too, so she will be able to go for a lot of upgrades, including the plus 3 ranged. And I guess the plus 3 melee damage, which are very important upgrades for the Hunter. And the hunter can just be feeding herself for ages now, come on. Can Fatline not stop this? He's gonna go for some actual income and he's gonna go for the Hydras, but uh, the survivors are like out of income. Like completely. I guess Pika's gonna go for a lot of advanced probes now because he realized how he can actually get a ton of income on top of everything. Okay, look at these dragoons, they're gonna go forward on top of all of those Zerglings. But I mean, Kerrigan now, she doesn't even go for Shadow of the Helios. Kerrigan is just getting like more and more fat. She's level 10 right now, 36 armor. What? Come on, survivors, you can do better than this. This is not okay, this is not okay at all. She now deals over 280 damage per shot. Which totals out to be like over 560 damage a second. She's even gonna get the like anti-armor thingy. Yeah, but the armor reduction is only gonna be 4. So that's not gonna do much now. She's got 40 armor. Look at Kerrigan. She's unstoppable now. Now Lacra will even find the local to income. I mean, she's been fighting here for ages. She doesn't even need units anymore. She's even got the Razor Swarm at level 4. She's gonna deal so much more damage with it now. I mean, I guess the Helios is gonna go for Archons finally. These guys can finally do some damage. Even though not that much, Kerrigan win all, win only lose like about 20,000 HP. And she will be able to go for most of the Dragoons. Once again, come on. She's just like rolling over the Dragoons over and over again. Shadow Wolf even goes for Corsairs. To stop Kerrigan from attacking. She's finally gonna go for some structures. Yeah, she actually had enough of this. She's gonna just disable everything. Now the thing is, Fatline just like based in the bottom left. Like, 
two meters away from Kerrigan from where she is right now. She's gonna have to go around and destroy most of the structures. Look at this. She's gonna go for more of the Archons, she's gonna go for more of the Marines, the Zerglings will go forward too, and then she's just, I guess, gonna like redeem herself and start attacking the structures too. I mean, I guess now even Infinity is getting bored. He's got 44 armor. I mean, Kerrigan is just insane. Her strength is giving her like way too much armor. This is only like a this is only a thing for the Zerg, by the way. If you're a survivor, if you get strength, you do not get armor for it at all. So don't get your hopes up. Only Kerrigan has this thing. Now she deals like over 320 damage a shot. She's still fighting. I mean, she's got so much gas. He's not even going for income anymore. He's getting so bored. Look at this. Locust is trying to base, but he doesn't have that much income. No, he cannot really base, but Fatline can. He is actually, I think, getting prepared to go for like mass marauders right now. While Kerrigan has been fighting here for like 20 minutes straight or something. He's been fighting like Marines, Archons and Dragoons for like 10 minutes now and she is not done yet. I mean look at this, even the Mage is gonna especially go for the Shredder missile for the armor but even with like 12 armor reduction is not gonna be that amazing. Okay here comes Locker with a couple of Brutals too. Now the Archers are gonna go over Fatline's income that is gonna get destroyed and all of this income I mean, he will. Will he manage to save it now? Fat line, you have to salvage it. He's not even gonna salvage it anymore. No, the income will get destroyed. With it will get just obliterated by Kerrigan right now. Can you see this? I guess the scientist is eventually gonna manage to get some ghosts and destroy those. But with Kerrigan having that much armor, I'm not sure. Okay, there, there you go. Infinity is gonna go for a freaking soft. Now there is no way out. This battle is over. After about 12 minutes of straight up fighting. I yeah, know even Locker comes on with the Banelings and they're gonna go over everything the Zerg has. Now Locutus is not is not managing to base still. Yeah, he doesn't have enough. Yeah, Banelings, they actually came with the Banelings. Infinity says Banes actually. Yeah, look at that. No, Zaraza is gonna, is gonna go for a lot of Marauders. Wait, what? The dude, does he have income? Does Zaraza has actual income? I don't think he does. No, he doesn't have income, but he's got Marauders, so there's that. I mean, he's gonna lose his mage, mage is gonna go down, now the marauders are really strong, yeah. They actually don't care about the armor, Kerrigan is gonna take tens of thousands of damage from these bad boys, because now the damage is real and the Kerrigan armor will not help her nearly as much, they're gonna lose like over half her HP from this alone. And the marauders will absolutely destroy her, but not like eliminate her permanently. She's just gonna be low for a while. And that's gonna be about it. Now she almost does like 400 damage a shot, which is insane. She can destroy a scientist like easily under like one second at this point. Kerrigan is insanely strong. The strength attribute is way too OP. The Ascendant, wait what? The Ascendant just got slapped. I guess it was those Hydras because Zagar is also like hunting for him now and Kerrigan will go after the last of the, last of the Archons. They will fall, look at that. Can she like one-shot them? Not quite. She's like, I don't know, two levels from one-shotting Archons. Now the thing is, Pika also has a ton of income. So pretty much all of the guys are rich. Now look at Tosh. They can actually see the Banelings. He's gonna just salvage everything. Yeah, poor Spicy. He's level 7 though. He does have a lot of power in general, but he doesn't have enough. Look at Kerrigan. She's just gonna hang out here in the corner. With 56 freaking armor, casually like doing whatever. And she's gonna actually walk forward. Okay, I guess she wants to go now for the top base, cause Pika, I mean Pika doesn't. He's got 42,000 minerals, no Pika. You're like hoarding way too much, you have to go for like 3-3 right now. Okay, they see Fatline, they see once again even Shadow Wolf going for the robotics facility. That are gonna be spawning annihilators, they deal insane damage against armor, including Kerrigan. They do, I believe, up to 120 damage at max level, which is insane. So these guys can really pack a serious punch, unlike the marines that the scientists used. Now not even the ghost can even deal damage to Kerrigan. 
The only things that can are the Marauders from the Scientists and I guess the Colossi and Immortals from the Celandis and of course the Annihilators from the Helios other than that. Kerrigan is impenetrable. She's got way too much armor. Look at Tosh getting healed up by a medic, small tail medic. He's gonna get his HP up. He's got, he's gonna be at max very shortly. Now Kerrigan, I think she's planning to go after this base right now. Okay, come on, Kerrigan, you're gonna move now. I mean, he's not moving. Oh, look at Selendis. I think he sees Selendis moving. No, he doesn't. Okay. Kerrigan is doing something else. Come on, Infinity, what are you doing? Oh, I guess he's just going for income. Look at that. Yeah, never mind. He's fine. He's just building up his resources to go into the late game because he knows. This Helios is doing really well with all of the Archons and everything. And yeah, they're just gonna go ham on all of those Corruptors. And the Corruptors will get attacked and eventually destroyed. No, Tosh is gonna get uh, like destroyed by Kerrigan in no time. I bet she just like one-shot him or two-shot him. That's a lot of damage on one unit right there. I mean, Zagar is gonna try and push this with a lot of Hydras and Roaches, even though this is not quite gonna work. No, not as uh, Zagara planned. Look at that. Yeah, the Hydras just get destroyed by the Archons. Now Helios is gonna go for... Is she gonna go for more Annihilators? No, she's not, even though she really should. She's got like the same amount of like four or so Annihilators. And she's gonna go walk forward, go after the Bruta. The Bruta will go down and then they're gonna go for more and more Brutalisks. They will all get destroyed right now. Including a lot of these Hydras and Roaches. They're gonna get eliminated and Helios is like holding the base really well right here, but Fatline Fatline is the other threat, because even though he's strong, no, Selenis got destroyed, actually, I guess. Yeah, Kerrigan just, cat, just caught her. Now here comes Zagara with a ton of those um, Brutalisks, but again, Fatline just spam a couple of Marauders and be done with it. They have like over 500 HP, they're tanky AF, even though I'm pretty sure the Archons should be tanking, because the Archons don't do damage at all. So they should be like the tanks of the team and then the marauders should, should be like the damage dealers but it's fine it's fine it's all going fairly well for the survivors now look at kerrigan is gonna even like razor storm the archons she's got nothing better to do with like 60 armor no the scientist gets destroyed what was that fat line he just walked in did you see that how did that even happen i gotta go like some seconds back to see how this happened and how he actually died Okay, 39.52, where's the scientist? Is he still alive? At this point, I don't think he is. Now I gotta go a couple more seconds back and see how this happens. I wanna see how Fatline actually died. Okay, okay. You can see, come on, don't tell me he's dead at this point too. Spicy Fatline, okay, there he is. And then here's the scientist. Oh, he's gonna be very far forward, yeah, I think. I think I know how this happened. He just walked forward for no reason. I'm gonna speed it up a bit. He's gonna go, he's gonna go next to... Oh, he's gonna get destroyed by Zagara. Okay, so Zagara sniped him from the low ground. Did you see that? Yeah, she just two-shot the scientist. Because she does do like over 200 damage too. With a whopping 0.3 almost attack speed. Which is insane. No, technician is also get destroyed. He was on the top side of the map, but Kerrigan will... I guess he eliminated pretty much everyone. With this power, I'm not sure how you could actually lose, because the survivors don't have income at all. Not even Helios, even though he's got some and a ton of gas. That's not enough, she needs a lot more than this. Kerrigan will just go to town on all of these units, including the Annihilators, the Archons, and I guess pretty much everything. Yeah, pretty much everything is just gonna fall. Now she can just one-shot Archons, yeah, look at this. She's one-shotting Archons and dealing over 440 damage per shot, which is insane. She's just gonna destroy pretty much everything, all of the Annihilators, the Archons. Hydras are gonna go after the Annihilators too, the Archons go down, all of these structures also get destroyed. And then the Hydras will be moving on towards the actual Annihilator spawners, which are practically the last of the structures. And with this many Hydras, not even, anni not even Annihilators can deal with, and the Hydras. Yeah, they'll just get everything. Now Helios is gonna try and go for Stargates. 
I mean, I don't see why you would ever do that, but okay. I guess you do you. I mean, he's gonna spawn a lot of Corsairs, so there's that. But I mean, you cannot do anything with this. They will just get destroyed by the Lynx attacking these buildings. He's just trolling right now. I mean, Zaraza also has income. He's got a ton of income though, and he's trying to push with freaking Reapers. And he's like destroying structures, he's actually doing it. He's killing stuff with the Reapers. He's gonna be destroying even this pyre almost, yeah, look at that. Those Reapers are scary, now the Helios will manage to run away. But I think she will get caught. I'm pretty sure, because Hirgan knows she's around there. Look at that, I think she's setting up like a Hydra trap. No, not quite. She just wants to go after the rug. Now Helios doesn't know what to do, look at this. He's so scared. He doesn't know whether or not Kerrigan sees him or whether or not she knows where he is. So he's just gonna stay in the same place. Kerrigan is gonna go up after a lot of those Banelings. And I guess she's gonna have to attack the Zaraza scientist. Who's really poor at this point. He's, he, he does have like 600 love gas, but that's not enough. Yeah, the Banelings will just cut through all of these units. Like a hot knife for butter, but not quite because they don't have upgrades. Uh, they don't have a grizz at all. Shadow Wolf, I think he will get surrounded. He says GG. I mean, he sees the Hydras everywhere. He doesn't know what to do anymore. Because Kerrigan got them covered. Okay, there she's gonna go after the scientist who's a Raza. Is she gonna actually attack him? No, not yet. She's like keeping it for the moment. She's gonna dash in. And is she gonna go after him? No, not yet. She just wants to like destroy him last. She, he's not in a hurry actually. He's just gonna go like calm after all of those moons. He does have the blink. And the scientist will blink on the low ground. He's gonna go for some more ghosts. No, Helios gets destroyed by Zagara. Who's gonna see him walk on the creep? And now Kerrigan is gonna go after the ghosts. It will get destroyed. And I guess she will. She's even gonna go down once again. It's only the scientist now. The scientist versus the world with only. 700 gas and 20 minerals is gonna try to win the war in here but Kerrigan is just headed towards him with more than 4.2 move speed and uh, over how much damage is that it's like 440 damage a shot yeah and that would be like more than 1000 damage a second just from Kerrigan auto attacks she's crazy she's gonna go for some songs too even though she doesn't need them, she can just go for the Razor Swarm and destroy all of the ghosts. But she's gonna use the songs, so it's more satisfying this way. She's gonna one shot the ghost, and then the songs is gonna go after the scientist. Yeah, look at that one shot, and then he's gonna go down. Good game, well played. This was the longest fight ever in Kerrigan survival. That thing lasted over two or I guess ten minutes.